Hello YouTubers, in this video we are going to measure the internal temperature sensor. I got a cool drink here, I'm currently it's green light, I am going to keep it like this. Now it's getting colder and we get blue light. Please note, this one only measure the internal temperature. If we need a room, if we need to measure the room temperature, we may need to use the external temperature sensor. I got a soldering iron. I'm getting very closer, and we get red light. Diagram is very simple. Longer pin of the LED goes to A1, and this one A5, this one A7. Shorter pin of LED connected together with any resistor between 100 to 500 ohm to the ground. Now we can connect this one to ST link to the computer we can open the cube IDE. I have opened the cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install cube IDE, I have made a separate video it's here. Now we can continue. Click system core, click sys for the debug serial wire. For the LEDs we make PA1 GPIO output and also PA4 and PA7 GPA output. Now for the temperature sensor we click analog, click ADC1, go below, tick the temperature sensor channel. For the configuration parameter setting we go below, make it bigger, make sure the continuous conversion mode is enabled. And also, in the rank, expand it and the sampling time, we make it, we need to make it higher because for the temperature sensor, we need higher value. So, we make it 55.5 cycle because I am running internal clock of 8 megahertz. So, uh, 55 is enough. If you make it faster clock, we need to make it more higher than 55, maybe 71 or 239. So that's all the setting. Now we can click save. While the code is being generated, I show you something. In the description below, I have given a web address, this one. When you go below, the picture is here and the diagram is here. And the cube ID setting is here. We've already done. How to get this sampling time? I have given a web address, you go there, you can find it out if you want. For the code, we need to, in the user code begin PV, we need to put these three lines, copy, and we go to cube ID, user code, user code begin PV, we paste it, and we go back, and user code begin 2, we need to copy this one and paste. Here. Now in the while loop, that's the last one. We need to copy and paste this one. This what basically it does is, it pull for conversion and gets the value and uh, it gets the Celsius and Fahrenheit using these two formulas. How I got this formula is, I show here in the below, when you go below, in this link, page 236, we get the formula and this link, page 79, we get the all the values. The formula is here and three values are here. And uh, we substitute and we simplify, we get this formula for for the Celsius and uh, again we substitute and we get this formula for Fahrenheit. Now we can copy the code for the while loop from here until delay 100. We copy it and we paste it there. In the same while loop we paste it. That's all. We can click save. Use the build button to hammer button to build and see. You can see the progress here.
no errors. Now we can, instead of uploading the code straight away, we use the debug to upload the code. This button. Click debugger. And for the probe, I use open OCD. It will work with the original board, also for the clone boards. Click show generate option. Go below and reset mode is software system reset. Click apply. Click OK. This button with a reading glass, live expression. And we need to put read value here. That's already there. That's the one in the program. This one we can copy and paste. It's already there. Next one, T Celsius, we copy and paste it here. And next one is T Fahrenheit. We copy and we paste it there. Enter. And we make it like this. And we can see the values here. We can see when it will change. When we press this button, it will change. Now we can see the read values here, the ADC value and the Celsius and Fahrenheit is here. It's a 31 something Fahrenheit, 88. Now the room temperature here is about 20 degree Celsius, but the internal temperature is 30. It's much different. So to read the room temperature, it's, this is not good. That's in my opinion. What do you think? Uh, if for me, if I want to use room temperature, I may need to use the external sensor for that. Now we can click stop. It's already uploaded the code. Now one more thing I want to show you. I put these two numbers for the LED values. You can change it whatever suits you, suits you in, in your country, in your temperature uh, setting. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I will answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.